in the shadowed corners of history, where the threads of legend and fact intertwine, lies the Stanley Hotel, a beacon to those who seek the whispers of the past and the murmurs of the other side. My darlings of the dark, I invite you to journey with me as we peel back the layers of time, revealing stories of ambition, spectral presences, and the indelible mark of a literary nightmare. Our exploration begins with Freeland Oscar Stanley, a man whose vision carved a monument to luxury from the rugged wilderness of Estes Park. Within the walls of his grand creation, room 217 waits, silent and brooding, a chamber where history and haunting collide, inspiring terror in the heart of a young Stephen King. Prepare to be ensnared by the allure of the unknown, for as we delve into the spectral heart of the Stanley, we confront not just ghosts, but the essence of fear itself. Join me as we step into the world where the veil is thin and the spirits speak. Every episode this season is a two-parter. The first part is about the history of the hotel. The second part, we get into the paranormal activity. I will be uploading two episodes a week, so please stick around and come back for more. Welcome back to Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys, where history's veils are lifted, revealing the mysteries that dance in the shadows of our world. Today, we venture into the heart of the Rocky Mountains to unlock the secrets of an architectural marvel that merges elegance with the ethereal, the Stanley Hotel. Nestled in Estes Park, Colorado, this grand hotel not only showcases the opulence of the early 20th century, but also harbors tales that transcend the boundaries of the natural world. Built by Freeland Oscar Stanley, a visionary entrepreneur seeking respite and recovery, the hotel stands as a testament to human ambition and the unseen forces that share our spaces. In this episode, we delve into the intricate design, innovative spirit, and the ghostly whispers that echo through the halls of the Stanley Hotel. Join us as we uncover the legacy of architectural grandeur, the playful spirits of ghostly children, and the mysterious changes of room numbers that hint at a realm beyond our own. The architectural genesis of the Stanley Hotel is a tale of visionary ambition, marrying the opulence of early 20th century luxury with the untamed beauty of the Rocky Mountains. Freeland Oscar Stanley, co-inventor of the Stanley Steamer Automobile and a man of delicate health, was drawn to Estes Park, Colorado in 1903 upon his doctor's advice. The remarkable recovery he experienced in this alpine sanctuary inspired him not only to return annually, but to leave an indelible mark on the landscape. The Stanley Hotel, completed in 1909, was to be this mark. A grand hotel that would serve as a testament to Stanley's architectural vision and innovation. Stanley's architectural inspiration for the hotel drew heavily from the Georgian Revival style, a nod to his East Coast heritage, combined with an intuitive understanding that the hotel needed to complement its majestic mountain setting. The design was meticulously planned to ensure that the grandeur of the structure would not overshadow the natural beauty surrounding it, but rather exist in harmonious balance. The use of local materials, such as the sandstone for its foundation, and the carefully chosen color palette served to anchor the hotel in its environment, allowing it to stand as a proud yet respectful tribute to the Rocky Mountain splendor. With the professional assistance of Denver architect T. Robert Weiger and others, Stanley set about bringing his ambitious project to life. The hotel was designed with a keen eye for detail and a deep appreciation for classical aesthetics reflected in its Georgian Revival architecture. This architectural choice was no accident. It was a deliberate attempt to evoke the elegance and sophistication of East Coast establishments. 
thereby offering guests a slice of familiar luxury amidst the rugged beauty of the West. The Stanley Hotel's architectural vision extended beyond mere aesthetics. Stanley, leveraging his experience as an inventor and entrepreneur, infused the project with innovations that were groundbreaking at the time. The hotel was among the first of its kind to be fully electrified, a feat that necessitated the construction of a hydroelectric power plant. This forward-thinking approach ensured that every guest room had modern conveniences, including electric lighting and telephones. Luxuries that were almost unheard of in such a remote setting. Moreover, the hotel's design was influenced by contemporary notions of hygiene and comfort, aspects that were particularly dear to Stanley, given his personal health journey. The layout and facilities were carefully conceived to promote well-being and relaxation, aligning with a the therapeutic ethos that had originally drawn Stanley to Estes Park. This blend of luxury, innovation, and health-conscious design principles ensured that the Stanley Hotel was not just a building, but a holistic experience that catered to the physical, emotional, and aesthetic needs of its guests. In sum, the planning and architectural inspiration behind the Stanley Hotel represented Freeland Oscar Stanley's audacious dream to create a space where luxury met nature. The hotel's construction was a labor of love, a tribute to the healing powers of the Rockies, and a beacon of architectural and technological progress that would stand the test of time, enchanting visitors for generations to come. But a hairbringer of modernity nestled within the rugged beauty of the Rockies. Under the visionary guidance of Freeland Oscar Stanley, the hotel became a symbol of pioneering spirit in the realm of the early 20th century hospitality, introducing amenities that were revolutionary for its time and location. From the outset, Stanley aimed to infuse his grand hotel with the conveniences and comforts of the modern age, ensuring that the natural isolation of his mountainous setting did not translate to a lack of contemporary luxuries. A standout feature was the hotel's complete electrification, a marvel in 1909 when such a utility was a rarity even in more urban areas. The hotel's electricity was supplied by the Fall River Hydro Plant, also initiated by Stanley, which not only powered the entire hotel, but also brought electric light to Estes Park for the first time. Equally impressive, was the Stanley Hotel's sophisticated sewer system, a testament to Stanley's commitment to creating a healthful environment for his guests. At a time when sanitation was a significant concern, the hotel's modern plumbing and sewer infrastructure ensured the highest standards of hygiene and comfort, aligning with Stanley's personal interest in promoting wellness and the therapeutic benefits of the hotel's natural surroundings. Another innovation that underscored the hotel's luxurious offerings was the installation of telephones in every guest room, an amenity that was virtually unheard of at the time. This not only provided guests with an unprecedented level of convenience, but also emphasized the hotel's commitment to connecting its visitors with the outside world, despite its remote mountain location. The hotel's amenities extended beyond these technological advancements. It boasted one of the first all-electric kitchens in the country, setting a new standard for food safety and culinary excellence. The kitchen's design, personally overseen by Stanley, reflected his inventive spirit and dedication to providing guests with an exceptional dining experience. Moreover, the Stanley Hotel offered a range of recreational facilities designed to entertain and engage its guests. From a golf course to tennis courts to a bowling alley and a concert hall, 
The hotel ensured that visitors had access to a variety of activities that enhanced their stay, making it a destination for leisure and relaxation as much as for its healthful benefits. These innovations and amenities highlighted the Stanley Hotel's role as a trailblazer in early 20th century hospitality. Freeland Oscar Stanley's commitment to integrating cutting edge technology and luxury into the hotel experience not only set it apart from its contemporaries, but also laid the groundwork for the modern hospitality industry. The Stanley Hotel, with its pioneering spirit, became a beacon of comfort and sophistication, offering guests an unparalleled experience that married the elegance of the East Coast with the natural grandeur of the West. The construction of the Stanley Hotel was an engineering and logistical feat that tested the mettle of all involved, encapsulating the pioneering spirit of its founder, Freeland Oscar Stanley. Nestled in the rugged terrain of Estes Park, the hotel's creation was fraught with challenges typical of early 20th century construction yet amplified by its remote location in the Colorado Rockies. These challenges included transporting materials to the site, dealing with the area's extreme weather conditions, and implementing cutting edge technologies to provide unparalleled luxury in what was then a wilderness. Transporting construction materials to Estes Park was a monumental task. The lack of direct railway access meant that materials had to be brought in by rail to the nearest station and then transported over narrow, winding mountain roads. The logistical complexity of this operation cannot be understated. Every beam, every pane of glass, and every pound of cement had to make the arduous journey without the benefit of modern transport technologies. The solution required a combination of ingenuity and brute force. Employing a fleet of mule-drawn wagons and later specially designed steam-powered vehicles to navigate the treacherous mountain passes. This Herculean effort was a testament to Stanley's commitment to his vision, showcasing an early example of project logistics management under challenging conditions. The construction phase also had to contend with the harsh and unpredictable mountain weather, which could change from serene to stormy within hours. The short construction season, dictated by the long winters and the risk of snowfall, required meticulous planning and efficient use of the available time. Workers battled against the elements, often in conditions that today would halt construction indefinitely. This constant race against the weather underscored the determination of Stanley and his team to see the project through, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in construction at the time. Moreover, Stanley's ambition to equip the hotel with state-of-the-art amenities presented its own set of technical challenges. The decision to fully electrify the hotel, for instance, was revolutionary at a time when electricity was still a novelty and not widely available especially in remote locations. Stanley's solution, the construction of the Fall River Hydro Plant, was an innovative approach that not only powered the hotel, but also provided electricity to the town of Estes Park for the first time, marking a significant advancement in the use of renewable energy sources. This endeavor highlighted Stanley's forward-thinking approach to problem solving and his commitment to innovation. The construction of Stanley Hotel, from its conception to its completion, was a journey marked by relentless ambition, innovative problem solving, and an unwavering commitment to luxury and comfort. The challenges faced and overcome during its construction are a testament to the indomitable spirit of Freeland Oscar Stanley and his team. They not only built a hotel, but also laid the foundation for Estes Park's transformation into a world-renowned destination, embodying the essence of pioneering spirit in early 20th century hospitality. The grand opening of the Stanley Hotel in July 1909 marked the realization of Freeland Oscar Stanley's ambitious dream, transforming Estes Park 
into a destination of luxury and recuperation. As guests approached the hotel for the first time, they were greeted by a vision of elegance set against the rugged backdrop of the Colorado Rockies. The Stanley Hotel, with its grand Georgian revival architecture, stood as a beacon of sophistication and innovation in the West, a testament to Stanley's visionary spirit and dedication to creating a luxurious retreat amidst natural beauty. From the onset, the hotel captivated the imaginations of the affluent and famous, drawing in a clientele that included prominent figures such as the unsinkable Molly Brown, John Philip Sousa, Theodore Roosevelt, and later, celebrities like Bob Dylan and Johnny Cash. Its appeal lay not only in its architectural grandeur, but also in the cutting-edge amenities it offered, such as full electrification, a sophisticated sewer system, and telephones in every guest room, which were rarities at the time and underscored the hotel's pioneering spirit in hospitality. The Stanley Hotel's early days of operation were characterized by an atmosphere of opulence and leisure. Guests enjoyed the crisp mountain air from the comfort of the hotel's expansive verandas, dined in the exquisite McGregor dining room, and socialized in the Dunraven Tavern. The hotel's interiors, filled with dark woods, brass fixtures, Old West chandeliers, and authentic period furniture, transported guests back to the West's golden age, while still providing all the modern comforts of the time. The hotel's innovative amenities, such as one of the first all-electric kitchens in the country, and a range of recreational facilities, including a swimming pool, tennis court, bowling alley, golf course, and croquet courts, set new standards for luxury accommodation. These features, combined with the stunning natural surroundings and the promise of rejuvenation, quickly established the Stanley Hotel as a premier destination in the West. Moreover, the Stanley Hotel's grand opening and subsequent success played a significant role in the development of Estes Park and the establishment of the Rocky Mountain National Park. It helped transform the area into a thriving resort town, attracting visitors from across the country and contributing to the region's growth and prosperity. In celebrating its opening, the Stanley Hotel did not just unveil a building. It introduced a new era of luxury travel in the American West. Its allure, a destination for the elite, and its contributions to the hospitality industry have left an indelible mark on the history of Estes Park and the broader landscape of American tourism. The Stanley Hotel, with its blend of architectural beauty, innovative amenities, and scenic location, continues to enchant visitors, standing as a proud monument to Freeland Oscar Stanley's dream and the enduring appeal of luxury amidst the natural grandeur of the Rockies. As we draw the curtains on the first part of our journey through the architectural marvel and spectral legends of the Stanley Hotel, we've uncovered the layers of ambition, innovation, and ethereal presence that permeate its storied halls. Freeland Oscar Stanley's vision has not only left us with a testament to early 20th century luxury, but a beacon for those who seek to brush shoulders with the past, both seen and unseen. But our exploration doesn't end with the marvels of architecture and the echoes of innovation. The story of the Stanley Hotel is as much about the souls who never checked out as it is about the grandeur of its creation. As night falls over the Rocky Mountains, our journey takes a turn towards the mysterious. Stay with us as in our next episode, we ascend to the fourth floor, where the laughter of ghostly children fills the air, and the past seems to come alive with every step. This space, once an attic, and now a haven for spectral residents invites us to unravel the mysteries that lie within its walls. From the playful spirits that meddle with the belongings of guests, to the haunting melodies that whisper through the corridors, 
we delve into the tales that have cemented the Stanley Hotel as a focal point of paranormal intrigue. Join us as we explore the enigmatic fourth floor, a place where history and hauntings intertwine in the next installment of Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys.